finding success with a court-issued rehabilitation program for drug addicts. The two county courts adopted the program five years ago, and now more than half of its graduates are on a drug-free path. News 18's Micah Upshaw tells us why. It's a program called Bi-County Accountability Court, or what judges refer to as a last chance for defendants. For a defendant who maybe has a history of not being successful, has had multiple cases that are drug related, they may not all be uh, drug charges, but somehow substance abuse driven. Fountain County Judge Stephanie Campbell runs this program with Warren County Judge Hunter Reese. Together, they've seen the hardship small counties can face fighting the drug epidemic. Rural counties really suffer because we don't have the services available to us uh, that bigger urban counties have, the treatment programs and the uh, daily uh, contact that people can have that are really struggling with addiction. Judge Campbell calls it an intensive service. It requires at least two drug screenings a week, multiple substance abuse therapy sessions a week, community service and building relationships with family. Our goals is to integrate them into the community being um, a prosperous person in the community and not living a life of being ashamed of their past but accepting their past and moving on and, and being productive. So far it's been successful with more than half the program's graduates on a path of not recommitting their drug crimes. The average state or program success rate is under 50 percent and our success rate so far is 55 to 60 percent. That's not a lot above it, but if that one additional person that's successful is your family member, then you know that's a great thing. In Fountain County, Micah Upshaw, News 18. Well, the program has a required maximum.